Hello everybody. I am the leader of the kingdom Ashes of Creation. My in-game name is Nemodius, and I've had a lot of requests from people that I've been talking to about making a guide on what I think is the most effective way to level your citadel levels. Now, you got to take into consideration that we're talking about version of the game 1.4 because you know as you know things change all the time but right now I think this is one of the most effective ways to do that as you can see I'm level 50 so anytime you get a character over level 50 you will then be able to start grinding away at your citadel levels you can see by looking at mine that I'm level 111 um, <clears throat> am I the highest level in the game no there's lots of people that have higher citadel levels than me but this is just where I'm at because this is where I think um, I've kind of figured out the best way to do this and I'm really starting to get up there because just in the last few days I've put on about 11 you know 10 11 citadel levels in a couple days I think that's pretty good uh, it's a lot of grinding because as you get upwards in the levels um, you'll see the amount required is you know pretty immense so it gets pretty daunting especially when you're only getting on average of around the method that I'm using around you know 250 ish or so per match um, so yeah I wanna which is a lot better than the majority of the other methods but still I wanna I wanna show it to you so right now you can see that I'm really close to a level break I'm 9709 out of 9739, so this battle should go ahead and, and pop me over on a level. The best place I've found to get the most bang for your buck on experience for these matches is in your archive. <clears throat> So if you go into your battles, and I have my archive favorited because obviously that's what I'm doing. I'm grinding right now. So just go into your archive, and you will have to purchase the seasons that you've previously played to unlock them in the archive. Uh, it's either gems or, you know, whatever. And just kind of play around with them. And you have to find what you're looking for is you're looking for a level of content that you can beat easily but is still at the edge of giving you the best return for your experience without having to mess with it too much and what I mean by mess with it too much is I'm gonna make full use of the auto battle feature that way I can put this on another screen go do something else work on something else and just sit here and recycle the battles over and over and over um, it's completely allowed it's a feature in the game so you know why not make use of it for me my sweet spot is seems to be right now into the dream hold I think is where I landed uh, and no no that's wrong that's where I'm doing my elite playthrough on the mines of Kazadul I think yeah here's where I'm at in my sweet spot for me it's chapter 2 of hard mode and I just do 1 through 10 and then reset it by using this option right here select hard chapter 2 and replay and I just cycle it over and over and over so right now I'm gonna go ahead and start a match and I'm gonna pause the recording real quick because you don't really care to watch the match you just wanna see the end result so we're gonna pause the recording and I'll be right back as soon as it's done okay and we're back so at the end of the battle you can see I used auto battle throughout the whole whole event and it took me like one minute 30 seconds so it wasn't really that long I'm at my sweet spot to where I really don't have to worry about dying because the enemies that I'm facing are not strong enough to really kill me on auto battle but yet I'm pushing the edge that way I'm making sure that at the level I'm at I'm gonna get the most return that I can for my XP per match so right now you see that I got 172 XP for this match uh, five kingdom crest 200 something gold but you see it popped me over on another level 
And what's good about this is, if you'll notice, this is about the best XP you're going to get for anything in the game. Yes, the story does give good XP, but this is really super good for XP as far as any other method that I've found. Plus, it's easy to just cycle through the battles one right after the other, reset the chapter when you get to the end, and start all over. Um, I'm safe. I'm making good XP. I'm not really, you know, having to work too hard for it because I'm using auto battle. So this is kind of like the best of both worlds right here. Plus I'm getting gold, plus I'm getting kingdom crests, and then plus I'm, you know, getting whatever I get from this. Now, one of the things you might want to keep in mind when choosing a battle is you may want to look at all of the the uh, story modes that you have available to you because some of the enemies in certain ones may be easier for you to beat some of them may be more challenging I've noticed that I've had trouble with some of them at the higher levels and not others so it you know at the same level so it just kinda depends you may want to look and see what kind of enemy you want to face as well okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our tavern and we're going to look at our citadel. You see we've got a level ready to go. We can open it up. We're ready to go. And we choose whatever it is we're looking for. Right now at the, the uh, slot that I'm at, I'm taking melee resistance. So I take that. Confirm. Boom. And now I'm ready to go again with another grind level. So that's my strategy. Let me know what you think in the comments if you like that or if you think there's something you can add to it to make it better. Please let me know because I'm open for suggestions. Thanks for your time.